Hello, Ron Maines here for my father, David Maines, on this two-year journey through the Bible called 100words.ca. Be sure to follow online as well. We're in 2 Chronicles chapters 9 and 10, and our key verse is 9 verse 23. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Chapter 9 tells of the splendor of the reign of Solomon, and it ends with Solomon's death and the transfer of power to his son Rehoboam. But what a sad turn of events in the next chapter of today's reading. There are some things one can only learn by living long enough. Solomon's advisors were probably in their 60s and 70s. By ignoring their advice, King Rehoboam lost the 10 northern tribes and the kingdom was divided. War between the north and the south was narrowly avoided. How sad. Our choices have consequences, don't they? Let us choose to pray fervently as David and Solomon did. There is no record of Rehoboam praying for wisdom, as did his father. Instead of asking God for guidance, King Rehoboam asked his boyhood friends for counsel and followed their advice. The history of Israel is proof of the consequences of poor decisions. Our prayer for today is, Lord God, I pray for the wisdom to listen carefully to the guidance of those who pray much and who know how to hear your answers to their prayers for wisdom. I need you every day to provide me with an understanding of your will in all things. In Jesus' name, I ask for your wisdom. Amen. Amen.